Hi, hello, hi, how y'all doing? So y'all already know what time it is, huh? It's another reaction video. Okay, so we back with another banger. Make sure you subscribe. Hello to all my new subbies. How y'all doing? Make sure you like the video. I couldn't even get like the video. <laughs> Let's get us an algorithm, huh? Let's get us an algorithm. Gross. We trying to get to 3K still. What y'all doing? Sleeping. Wake up. But anyway, also make sure you comment. I talk back. I talk back, huh? I do. I love y'all. But this one is woman's fake 24K check scam fails miserably. Here we go, y'all. Y'all scamming with these checks, ain't it? All right. We're going to make sure we're recording. Is. Let's go. On September 26, 2023, officers responded to a pawn shop to investigate a potential a pawn fraud. Shop. So what's, she, what's going on? Trying to cash a $24,000 counterfeit check. Hello. At the pawn shop? Ain't nothing cash check. Right. What's this all about? Um, I had received a check in the mail, and it was supposed to be a payback out from my pet page. For what? Unemployment. You were expecting that check for almost $24,000? I wasn't, not really. Yo, back pay for him, unemployment. Were you expecting a check at all? I knew I was supposed to be running a check, but I didn't think they were supposed to spend that much. Unemployment handing out money like that? Okay. I know that. What car did you show up in? It was a Mazda. And why did they leave? Because the wheels running late picking up my kids from school. So... Why didn't you go pick up your kids from school then? Because I had told them I was coming back about 5 o'clock. Well, before then. Okay. What? Nothing about this makes sense. You're a horrible liar. I mean, something. Eels? I mean, this. They're saying this is a fraudulent check. I don't know. I don't know the difference. Bitch, don't act surprised. You knew damn well. I want to call up college. Okay, you can get a. Yeah, late unit. Okay. Girl. It's hard girl, and we're obsessed. Girl, you knew that check was fake. Quit playing. Don't be playing in people's face like that. What's wrong with you? Come on, hey, goddamn. Three forty-five, two thirty-two. This is the check you tried to use. That's the copy of everything. Hey, we're going to get into the, the meat and potatoes in this year. I know you're kind of wondering what's going on. Before I do that, because I've got questions I want to ask you, i got to read you your rights. Doesn't mean you're in trouble. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say Please can't remain silent. against you in a court of law. Do you understand each of the rights I just read to you? Yes. Okay. Um, having your rights in mind, which is what I just read to you, do you want to talk to us and answer questions? I just want to know, like... I would love to explain it to you, but I, the only way I can talk to you is if you agree to talk to us yes. after being yes. advised your rights. Yes. Good. Okay. Uh, so, no. What, what's going on? We're, we're we're here. You're here. The check's here. What? Give me. The, tell me. Tell me what happened. Basically, okay. I received a check in the mail that was supposed okay. to be for back pay. When did you receive it? Last week. Where at your house? Yes. Okay. So I haven't been. Hold up. Hey, you received a twenty-four thousand dollar check last week. And you just now cashing it? Baby, let me get a check for even $10 in the mail. I'm going to the bank immediately. Immediately, I need this money. You already lying. Ain't no way in here. I called my aunt and I was asking her, like, hey, have I got any mail? She was like, yeah. You know, you got a couple of. Your aunt stays with you? Yes. Okay. I stayed where I stay with you. Stay, you uh -uh. Stay here. Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, no. So she was like that I had a few pieces of mail in this and third. So I had went to go pick it up. Okay. So after that, that's when um I noticed that the check had came. Okay. So 
I was like, oh, well, you know, going so last week when I picked it up, I never ended up catching it because it went to my right schedule. I always got on work. Baby, I would have called so in. Then after that, that's when Job I for what? came in today because I was off. Yeah. And to cash the checks. And when I tried to use my photo ID on my phone, they was like, no, I needed a physical ID. So I had For 24000 you need a lot. And this happened. So that check was for what? For unemployment. Okay. Have you ever gotten unemployment before? No, I applied once, but like I never received anything, never heard anything goes back. So it was okay. just like. So this is the first time you've ever done unemployment? filed for it or anything and like they gave you 24 for unemployment or anything this Correct. is the first one yes okay. where's the envelope that that came didn't she just oh, say she had it to was work supposed to have been up front if they didn't move it okay um i do you got a question came from what was on the envelope you're not being it honest was like, with me. it was a blank envelope with the <laughs> clear slip and it was a paper in front of it and then, like, when you unfold it, it was like the check, the rest of the, well, you know how, like, you rip off a check? A stuff? That's how it was. When you filed for unemployment, how'd you do it? What, what site did you go to? Um, I, let me see. How in the hell you don't know? What did you receive? Did you get, like, an email after you applied? Did you receive anything? I had basically received a letter saying that I had to submit some more um, information in, but that was the only thing. Yeah, once I had not submitted everything, that was it. Okay, if you, you submitted, submit you don't remember where you submitted to? Yes. Okay. How that was that? I did it online. Like, at the time, I was doing everything online. But how I had, like, knew to do, like, the unemployment stuff, my friend was telling me about it. Mm -hmm. So, she... Your friend you was telling you about fraud an checks. Or a denial from them for unemployment? I basically, I really didn't too much to hear nothing else. And then it was like I had um, started doing hair, so it was like I wasn't really too focused on it. There's not really anything about this that's not fishy. You know what I mean? None of this makes sense. It don't. All right. Um, we're asking you questions because we're trying to gauge where you're at as far as what you're going to tell us and how truthful you're going to be. But I'm going to tell you right now. Not a darn thing that's come out of your mouth has made any sense. At all. Okay. 2019, you applied for unemployment. Is that what you said? No, it wasn't. I wouldn't even say it was 2019. I want to say it was 2020. Okay, so let's say it's 2020. And this, this okay. he'll say it's 2023. Okay. It's 2023, mm -hmm. almost 2024. Mm -hmm. And you receive a check for supposedly what you applied for three years prior. Exactly. And I'm going to tell you right now, unemployment doesn't give lump checks. Exactly. Okay. They um, give payments. Unemployment is a payment as if you were working. I know. Okay. And those checks don't come from the treasury. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, but I'm letting you know that I know that. Okay. Well, okay. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. That, like, I never received unemployment. I never got a check from treasury or anything. So this is like my first time actually receiving something like this. I, I promise okay. you. I'm not lying to just, you. just so you know, for four years, I did fraudulent investigations mm -hmm. for the department. And I saw stuff like this all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'll and I'll tell you right now, the reason we're asking you this, he said we're gauging uh, how truthful you're going to be. I'll tell you right now, this is your chance to be honest. Because I know exactly what's going on. Um, I can call it exactly like I've seen it every other time before. Somehow, someone came in contact with you, a male, probably the male that's sitting in your car out there in the passenger seat. You better leave that nigga alone. Chevy Malibu. And that person convinced you that you need to go in here and you need to cash this check. And then payment would be to receive a portion of that check while they get the other hmm. You oh, being mom's. a single mom, I don't know if you're getting paid a lot right now. I'm not going to worry about that. But you would get a portion of that money. And they would get the rest. And all you had to do was go in here, show your ID, and here you go. And this is what you got to say. And these people will buy it. And I say that because I recently arrested someone not too long ago for the same similar type of thing here. So, with that being said. Basically, bitch, I know what I'm talking about. Don't lie. Because... I don't know if you know this or not, but this place has video cameras. Mm -hmm. So they come, or, I'm sorry, you come here and they see exactly what cars you come in and out of. Mm -hmm. And they see what cars come at the same time that you come. Right. Well, that car was here earlier with you. Right. So it's right. odd that it's back now and there's a guy that's just been sitting there waiting 
Well, actually, in the passenger seat. Now, my my question is: is did this guy contact you through like Instagram mm -hmm. or Facebook or what? And what did he promise you? Because boy, is it that and maybe he told you that <laughs> yes, this is this is legit, and you know this is what it is. But I'm telling you right now, I know you're full of it. Um, they try to do this whole thing all the time with people. We're like, here, this is this is what it is. This is I ain't gonna lie. Gonna Hold on, pause. I fell for a scam before when I was in college. That uh, goddamn um, shit. What is it? When you go in the store, I think um, you gotta like, damn, I can't remember what it is. I want to say it's like, oh, secret shopper. So it was a secret shopper scam they had me trying to do at Walmart. So they sent me like these little money order cashier check looking things. My dumb ass not knowing no better, knowing my mama work at the bank. I thought the shit was for real. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go be a secret shopper. They're going to give a little bit of the money, blah, 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 blah. Fast forward. I go deposit the motherfucker checks at Bank of America where my mama worked at the time, where my accounts were at the time. Bitch, they flag my shit for fraud so fucking fast. So I, I know about falling for the scams. I was just dumb as hell and didn't know no better and was in college, undergrad. I was like 18, 19 years old. Bitch, you know better. You better leave that nigga alone. I, no, Lord. Um, that way it sounds you ain't legit stupid. or tries to sound legit. The problem is, is that treasury check, first off, it's fake as heck. There's there's and nothing about that check that's even remotely much. real. You wouldn't get a check from the treasury anyway. And you can look at that it and tell. a blank envelope in the mail three years later. That's why I look at every check I get. So you can sit here and tell us all it's day so long comfort. that this is what <laughs> you believe it is or this is what you think it is or whatever story they concocted for you. But ultimately, you need to tell us who the person is out there, how they contact you and everything else. Maybe we can help you out. I'm not promising we can, but well, this is your chance to be honest because I'm telling you right now, I already know you're lying. I'm going to be completely honest with you. The person that's in the car, that's my little brother. He's a minor. Right. He's 17. He has nothing. He, he ain't a minor. Okay. Depending on where they are. That's what I'm going. I'm I promise you, I'm completely honest with you. Okay. Number two, the check that came in the mail. Basically, my friend helped me apply for unemployment. So she gonna still tell the same person. She told me basically like, you go on this website, you do such and such and such, and that was it. So, so you're gonna stick with that, that came in the mail. That's what you're sticking with? Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, we're getting to a point where there's, a, there's gonna be a line. And once, we meet that line of our patience with this, there's going to be no going back and helping you. I can give you my friend information that helped me do it. Oh, so now, yo, now you're you going to give it you up. You can't show us anything about anything that you applied for, or any website. She's trying to save us out. Nothing that said you were ever going to get money back, which doesn't make sense. You'd get it back from the treasury anyway. A big lump sum of $24,000 three years later. After you <laughs> uh, unemployment check from the that treasury. There's going to be no they're sense just whatsoever. They're going to send you a check without some sort of notification Especially for that amount. Come on, man. And with unemployment, you get approved or you get denied. I've done unemployment before back in the day. Mm. You get approved, you get denied. But yep. it's all notifications to your email, in the mail, you have documentation for everything mm -hmm. because that's that's a government entity. Shit, food they stamps, they be sending you the thick ass pack. They give it to you online, in the mail. You can't show us <laughs> one piece of documentation. That's, that's what I'm stating to you. I didn't do everything by myself. My friend helped me. I could give my friend information. I could your friend holds you. Who helped me with it. Everything and you trying to I throw them under the bus to save your ass. I can give all the person contact information. Your friend? The scammer? Yes. Okay. What are they going to do? They're going to tell me, oh uh, yeah, I helped her file for unemployment? I tell you what. I tell you what. Give me your friend's information. While we're here with you, we're going to call her. We're going to see what she says. I had no she, idea. I've been wearing the wrong shoes. She's trying to save like her that. ass. That's what she finna. She finna throw whatever friend that is under the bus. <clears throat> like I said, I've done this for a long time. I did this for four years. <clears throat> All kinds of stuff. The only thing that ever changed was the names of the people that did it. <laughs> That's it. It's the only thing that ever changed. <laughs> yeah. Because I can look at that, that check right there. 
and I can tell that that is beyond fake. It's laughable. Hey, listen, yes. uh, I've got a question for you. We're down here with a uh, 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 young lady who gave me your number and your name. Oh, please put it on speaker. She looks scared as hell. Did you ever uh, assist her uh, years ago or anything with uh, trying to help her file for unemployment? Did she did she mention anything to you about benefits did, during have COVID? You have you received any checks or anything like from the U.S. Oh, Treasury? Oh yeah, I forgot that was. You don't remember time. where man, you went people were scamming like a motherfucker during COVID. Do me a favor, I gotta check my recruitment. Shit, Bye. that's enough right, right there. Okay, well, we're here with her. Um, she's here with a, uh, a fake check from the Treasury, so we're, we're trying to figure out. She's trying to basically throw you under the bus <laughs> saying that you're the one that um, was the one that showed her how to do all this and, and, and get this and everything. So um, she gave us your number and your name because she's trying to get herself out of trouble. Do you know what they want to do? So, I don't know. I, I don't know. I You're going to go to jail. That's to fraud. Police. I don't know what you talking officer dutchman about officer Tommy. what i can't tell you what the fuck be wrong with y'all between the two of them they have close to like 25 years of experience like doing this type of stuff okay so like this isn't new i have a history with financial criminals so. and from my experience professionally i can tell you right away that that's a good check there's a lot of red flags here and you said that that, um, that came in an envelope Yes. Okay. And then, yeah, because I asked these guys and they don't have the envelope. Baby, I wouldn't so. let her have their phone. Who um, you texting? Possibly yeah, tossing the trash. Jay probably did because the envelope was on the camera. Okay. So you brought a $24,000 check in there with so no envelope? So you spent a while talking to Officer Dutchman here. No, you spent a while talking to Officer Coney. Who, who, draw, or who brought you here? How did you get here? I drove myself here. You drove yourself? In what car? Uh, Malibu. Who else was in the car with you? My little brother. He's gone. Mm -hmm. He left. Is there a reason that he left? He had to go pick up my kids. Your kids. Okay. Um, based off of what we have here. Okay. He was going to leave you there with $24,000? Um, what do you want to call? Let's buy him a picture and have first. We'll Come on, him. baby. Don't go to jail for fraud. You knew better. And you didn't do better. All right. Okay. You tried it, though. You tried it. <laughs> Fail! <laughs> Right, Take your car. ass to Jim, jail. To <laughs> Nothing illegal. Oh my god. Oh, here's the envelope. Oh. Oh, bitch. <laughs> you had the envelope the whole time. Oh, look at that. That says FIS Output Solutions. That's not from the U.S. Treasury. I can tell you that from the Okay. Girl. Well, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to. She was charged with grand theft and uttering forged like, instruments. It's like this mud. Like, I'm gonna slide if I. No, I'll hold on to you. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, friend, but uh, fraud is illegal and you're gonna go to jail for it. Unfortunately. But anyway, I was trying to play again. But anyway. <laughs> Y'all gonna stop playing with these checks. Bitch, did you say unemployment? Unemployment. You couldn't come up with nothing better than that. Make it. Y'all gotta stop criminally. <laughs> Y'all have got to chill. But anyway, until the next video, I will see y'all. Bye.